you're involved in an auto accident or a slip and fall and your neck and your back are hurting. Several years ago, when people came to my office and they had neck or back pain, we would send them to a specialist who would perform an MRI. And there were only three options they could take. Either they wait and see if it'll get better, or they get an injection in their neck or the back to hope that takes away the pain, or they have a surgery and that involved either doing it, what's called a microdiscectomy where they took some of the disc, disc material out and try to take the disc off of the nerve to try to reduce the pain or they have a fusion surgery where they take the disc out entirely and they put a bone from a cadaver or a donor in between uh, the two vertebrae where the disc was and they fuse it. None of these alternatives work well uh, when somebody has unrelenting pain. I'm Eli Castronova. I represent injured people who have herniated discs in Los Angeles, California. Several years ago, as I said, the options were limited. The most limited options were when the extreme measure of having a fusion of the vertebrae took place. Now, the problem with a uh, fusion of vertebrae, either in the neck or the back, is you're taking the disc out and you're putting a bone in there. And basically, where there was formerly a disc, now you've got uh, a two level that cannot move uh, very easily. So you're losing uh, mobility in the neck and uh, it doesn't look natural. It doesn't feel natural. So you don't have a lot of movement. And also over a number of years, especially if the person who has a surgery is young enough, that level up above where the fusion was performed or below the fusion would become weakened because it's an unnatural movement. Our bodies were made to have discs and discs not only give us mobility, but they also allow us to naturally turn and bend our head or the, our back and if you don't have that natural movement, what happens is over a number of years, uh, you get what's called adjacent uh, joint syndrome, where you wear away the disc above or below where the fusion is. And this is terrible because it's a guarantee of another major surgery, uh, and there's really no end to it. And after a while, when you have these kinds of surgeries, uh, the propensity is to have more scar tissue uh, which would affect the nerves and therefore more pain. So it, it, it's something that there had to be a better way. Well, now there is. There is uh, a new technology, at least in the United States. It's only been done the last few years, five to 10 years, but it's been done in Europe for 20 to 30 years. And this is the artificial disc replacement. The artificial disc replacement is a wonder because what you do is when you take out the disc, instead of putting a bone in there and fusing it with the vertebral bones above or below the damaged disc, you're putting in a titanium uh, device that takes the place of the disc. There's no fusion that takes place. Uh, after the recovery from the surgery, the patient is able to move uh, more easily to the right or the left or up and down. And because you're not fusing those bones all together, you don't have the possibility of this adjacent uh, joint syndrome where you're having more uh, disintegration and more trauma to the disc above or below where the fusion is. So um, I've had several clients that have had these disc replacement surgeries and they're doing very, very well, a lot better than the clients in the past who had fusions. And, and the future of uh, joint or disc replacement is just unending. We're going to have a situation eventually within the next 10 or 20 years 
where they will be able to grow this in the lab uh, from your own stem cells. And those discs can be used in place of the herniated disc that is removed. So instead of having an artificial disc, you'll have a disc made of your own body materials. And uh, this is gonna be like a second lease on life. It's like being born again, so to speak. So we will continue to keep up with these innovations and uh, keep contact with doctors who do these innovative pr procedures because we feel it's the duty of the attorney to help the injured people get back to the position they were before the accident occurred. This can't be done if you're fusing discs or fusing vertebrae together and taking discs out and not replacing it with something that's more natural, such as an artificial disc or potentially in the future, a disc of their own uh, tissues. Uh, so we will continue to do that. And we feel very positive about this in the future for our clients. Hi there. I am an AI avatar reading a real Google review by Amina Balem. Eli J. Castronova is an excellent wrongful death lawyer. He is very professional and dedicated to his clients. He has a great success rate and is very knowledgeable about the law. Thanks for your review, Amina Bolem. It's appreciated. Elia and his team are knowledgeable and experienced, and they're also very friendly and easy to work with. Mr. Castronova was nothing less than a blessing. Going to court in pain is stressful beyond belief. But not only did he ensure I was comfortable, he did everything in his power to fight for my case. Best attorney around. Hands down. Thanks for your review, Lionel Coleman. It's appreciated.